Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's a pleasure to come to the third conversation on Rumi from his Masnavi. The topic of this conversation is body and soul. In Rumi's Masnavi, body is different from soul. There are two elements, the soul and the body. So we have to look for the body, sure, to live, but we also must not deprive our soul. So he says, Mi dara khukun bedan rihan gul, tabiya bi hikmato kuwati rasul. Make your body get used to sweet basil and rose so that you may achieve the power of messenger of God and be like a rasul, a prophet. Har ki kahu jo khurat kurban shabad, har ki nuri hakurat kurban shabad, he who feeds on straw and barley, becomes good for sacrifice like a goat. But he who lives on light of God, he becomes holy Quran and start receiving spiritual messages. Then in religion, there is a man who is an imitator. He doesn't know anything about spiritual world, he only speaks. So Rumi says, I birun az afatab as suha and darun az aksu envare ilah. Pas nihani ha bazit peyda shabat, chunke hakra nis zid pin ha shabat. The outer illuminations come from the sun and the stars, light of God. The inner illumination comes from God's reflection, light. Thus, hidden things by their opposites come to view. God has no opposites. So he's not, he doesn't appear at all. That's the way he's hidden. Now, all right, he says that another place, Kuwete asli bashar nure khudas. Kuwete haiwani mar vera sadas. Man's real food is the light of God. And bestial food does not suit him because he's not animal, basically. Lik az illat darin uftaud dil ke khurad u ruz shab zain abu gil. This is a sickness that a man falls in love with the materialistic food. He keeps on eating day and night water and soil, which is food. The real food of the spiritual people is the blessing of God. <coughs> you can eat that kind of food, the spiritual food, without throat and without any means. Alet means here, any means. And he brings a very interesting example of Jesus Christ and his donkey. He says that, Tarke iso karda khar you have left Jesus Christ and started growing the donkey, feeding him well, making him happy. Naturally, you are out in the jungle or space like a donkey. And then he continues that a materialistic man is found of materialistic things. He doesn't care about divine world or anything. So he brings that very interesting example of cow. He says, 
گاو در بغداد آید ناگهان بگذرد و زین سران تا آسران Suddenly a cow comes to the city of Baghdad and it walks from one place to other from one end to the other end it doesn't care about what the riches the city has it goes right to the rind of watermelon he doesn't care because he needs the rind of watermelon to feed herself or himself so <laughs> some people who are in love with materialistic things they don't care about god they don't care about the divine world they care about the worldly riches good car good dresses good telephone etc dar wujood aadmi jaan o rawan to the human body flows like running waters the soul it comes from god okay mirasa das ghayb chu aab e rawan it comes to man like a running water amr hakra baz ju az wasli amr hakra na yobat har dili through his beloved man finds out god's command you cannot find it yourself all the time for not all hearts can receive god receive god's real command this what same thing so to batan haywan bajani az malak tarawi ham bar zameen o ham falak you are an animal as as in body and you are walking on earth as well as flying in the sky how ma hama murgh abyanim e ghulam o the sun or the young man we are all like water birds behr mi donat zubani ma tamam and our language the sea knows very well because we belong to that world not this world so if you are trying to explain these things to this world it will be difficult because it all these spiritual things belong to the other world and rumi brings a very interesting example of the embryo embryo we know that is in the belly of mother a doctor or a nurse try to take it out but the baby does go back the way we say no i don't want to come out let me alone i'm happy here i am being fed etc so is the materialistic man he doesn't want to come out of this world because he's so happy with all materialistic needs and demands that and he receives them so why should he come out and die but it's a reality that if he knew that there are wonderful things outside good food etc etc he would happily come out without crying so this is the uh, great metaphorical example he is trying to give rumi now what to do ab rahmat bayad at ro past show wangaha khur khamare rahmat mast show if you are looking for the water of divine mercy be humble and modest don't be aggressive that's not acceptable in the other world then drink the wine of god and be lost <laughs> mentally this is always used in the oriental kind of literature that wine is not only this wine made of wine but the wine of divine love which makes you crazy go out of yourself 
سو so وات چرخ را در زیر پا آر ای شجا بشنو از فرق فلک بانگ سما اوکی ٹیک دا اسکائی انڈر یور فیٹ بشنو از فرق فلک بانگ این یو ویل ہیئر دا ساؤنڈ آف سما فرام فار اوے اسکائی اسٹارٹ ریسیونگ اٹ ادر وائز یو وانٹ ریسیو بیکاز یو لاسٹ یو آر بزی ود دی میٹیریلسٹک ڈیزائرس سو ٹیک دس کرٹن آؤٹ away pambe o vaswas berun kun zagush take the cotton and doubts and suspicions out of your ears so that the celestial cries you may be able to hear many many people can hear some sounds coming from the celestial world or spiritual world So Rumi is suggesting that to take the cotton out of your ears and try to listen it. Now he makes another point. He says that Ruh ba aklas to ba aklas tiyar Ruh ra ba turki o tazi chikar Soul is friend with intellect and knowledge. It has nothing to do with Turkish or Arabic language or whatever. Because human beings were one before creation, he says, we are not separate. We are one in, as a whole. He says, Yak hurbu deem ham chu of taab, bi girah bu deem o safi ham chu aab. We were one diamond like the sun without a knot and pure like water. We were not separate. We were one and the same part of it. This is in the Quran that I created everything out of one object. So when the object exploded, the whole materialistic world, galaxies and all the stars came into being. But the thing which is very important is the light of God which also spread with it. Now, why should one say that these flowers and these seeds are, do not belong to light of God? God is the life giver. He gives life through his light. So this is the part which Rumi says you must discover in you. Who is with us? In our first and second lecture, he disclosed it openly. And he say, there are five other senses other than these physical ones. The others are like red gold, while these are like the brass. And the physical senses live on darkness, while the spiritual senses live on the light of the sun. Rumi, as I said already, has the concept that there are two elements. One is the physical, materialistic made of matter and the other is the light of God which is uh, invisible to everyone but you have you must develop the sense to feel it that God is there or God's light is there which is not easy so he said what to do how can we clean ourselves he says on the jaw set is zahir as our birawat On the jaws of the bottom, bottom of zoo mishavat, the outer dirt can be washed away with water and rain and all, while the inner dirt may increase and still remain. You cannot clean it. But what to do then? However, then the inner dirt appears. When the inner dirt appears, I, it can be washed by tears. You can cry to God. And crying is very important because you have feeling for God and his love start growing in you and you cry so it cleans off all your dirt, spiritual dirt I mean. The blindness of blind is not deprived of God's mercy. It is the blindness of greed that has no excuse and needs the remedy. O fish, 
see the result. Don't fix your eyes on the baited hooks. This is a bit difficult, I'll explain later. Your strong hunger has blinded you and blurred your looks. O oh, heart, rid your of hatred and deep jealousy. Then say glory to God and be active, full of life and free. Rumi says that you should get rid of jealousy and hatred for people if you want to love God. God doesn't have any hatred. He has no jealousy except for love. That's something different. Okay, then he says, let's have a look at these things. Sorry. Azi badan andar azabi ay bashar murg ruhat bastaba jinse digar. Oh man, you are in tournament due to this physical body. All your problems and worries come from this body because of this not spiritual body. While the bird of your soul is attached to another kind of bird. What? Your soul is a falcon and your body Bodily nature is like crows. It has deep impression of crows and owls on them. Impact. So owls and crows are the kind of bird that live in the physical desires, as we said before. So what you can do is to become free bird. You remember we talked in the cage, the birds in the cage, in the second lecture. So you have to get free of this first to gain attachment with God. Otherwise, it's difficult. Pas bedan ni chunk rasti az badan gu shobini chash mitaunat chudan. So know that when you get rid of this body, you become I throughout, start seeing everything. Because the spiritual world is hidden. And in the physic through physical body, this aqueous humor and all that, your eyes cannot see that. But when you die, everything is disclosed fully. To Abnai, Khaknai, to Digari, Beruza Jahano Gil, Dar Safari. You are neither water nor clay, you are something else. You are traveling beyond this world and clay. Your body is a river and the water running in it is your life. It's very interesting that soul is running in you like water from the other world. The spot where you really are, you are unaware of these two things. Some people are, do not even know why I'm physical. <laughs> And what do I have? Why? Because onke uro chashme dil should deed about, deed and about, deed chokhat chashme u ainul ayan. He whose eyes of heart begin to see, he knows the realities clearly. Rumi brings in a very interesting story of a shepherd and Moses. One day, Moses salam, is going to the mountain to talk to God. On the way, he saw a shepherd talking to God in his own way. He says to God, Oh my Lord, you must have been very tired. Come down, I make a bed for you and give you a good massage. Take care of you hungry. I may bring you some milk and things like that. And all things that you need, I will provide you with. He was talking like that. And Moses, salam, when he was passing by, he said, Hey, you gentlemen, you're idiot, stupid. You have lost your religion. You've gone out astray. You've gone astray. God is not like that. The way you think is completely different. 
He doesn't need anything of you that belongs to you. <laughs> Upon this, the shepherd became very upset. Crying, he went to the jungle and said, turned up and said to Moses, Moses, I have been talking to God like that ever since I was born. And Moses was surprised. Then he went to talk to God. When he went to talk to God, God was very angry. He said, Moses, go away. I, I like you no more. He said, sir, tell me, what's the reason? I am a human being, can make mistakes. He said, you hurt my beloved who was talking to me in his own tongue, in his own language to me. Go and tell him he can pray to me the way he wants. Tu baroye vasl kardan omadi, na baroye fasl kardan omadi. I sent you to bring my beloved people and love me and not to hate me. And you are making them hate me. What kind of a prophet you are and so on. That's a wonderful story. God can forgive you whatever your religion. It's up to him. In the Quran, God says, I give you, I give people what I want, the way I want. I give or I don't give. It's the will of God. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.